Well, all eyes are on the invasive monkey species we first told you had arrived here in Northeast Florida. The rhesus macaque is invasive and a carrier of the herpes B virus, which is potentially deadly to humans. And since we first told you about these sightings of the monkeys, a lot of you are asking some pretty good questions, like how do I protect myself? What about my kids? We don't want to get any damage or injury from this. Yeah, that's right, all good questions. And on your side, David Jones is live in St. Johns County tonight, verifying claims about the monkeys and laying out what you should be aware of, David. Questions have ranged from just how dangerous are these monkeys to what can you do if you see one? And if your backyard looks anything like this in northern St. Johns County, then there's the concern that they could come into your yard from the woods. So tonight we're on your side, verifying what you need to know and do if you see one of these monkeys. If they're attracted to the location because of a food source, then they're going to come. Tracy Fenn is the assistant curator of mammals at the Jack's Zoo. She's answering three questions. First, are the monkeys native to Florida? We rate that claim false. Fenn says the invasive monkeys were brought to central Florida from Asia in the 1930s. They've been able to reproduce and establish a larger and larger population. And now that they are so numerous, they're spreading out to other areas looking for more habitat because, of course, the more of them there are, the more space they need to live in. Now that they've spread, are they a threat to humans? Guys, the monkeys are attacking us. After all, the monkeys are known to carry herpes B. What we want to clarify is that herpes B virus has never been transmitted from a wild monkey to a person. The cases that have occurred have always happened in research settings at laboratories. So it's not to say they aren't potentially dangerous, but when it comes to them being a threat to humans, we rate that claim false. As long as people aren't feeding them or approaching them or harassing them in any way, there's really no greater risk of being attacked by these animals than any other, any of our native wildlife. Finally, what should you do? Fenn says to secure all trash outside. It's also important to never feed the monkeys, which is illegal, and not to approach. It's not necessary to panic about this. As long as you keep your distance and don't feed these monkeys, they're not going to cause harm to you. Um, and so it's just about respecting them as wildlife, even though they don't belong. And so what's the plan to deal with this invasive monkey population? Fenn told me that that's something state agencies are still wrestling with. There's not enough space to keep them in zoos, but if a homeowner sees one on their property, they can remove the monkey as long as humane methods are used. Live in St. Johns County, David Jones, First Coast News, on your side. So there you go. We have it verified for you. Thank you, David. And we were the first station to report that monkeys had been spotted here on the first coast. And now we are the only station to keep you up to date on exactly where those monkeys are. To see a map of every confirmed local monkey sighting right now, pull out your phone or if it's in your hand, I want you to text the word monkey to the number on your screen 904-633-8808. Once again, just send us the word monkey to the number you see there.